everyone, and welcome back to Maya's Reviews, a book podcast and blog where I review all types of novels. I'm Maya, and thank you for joining me for another book review today. I have nothing to mention before getting started. Um, I'm just happy I'm on time with an episode, so we're, we're doing good. Um, but today, I will be reviewing Daughter by Kate McLaughlin. Thank you to Wednesday Books and NetGalley for providing me with an arc of this novel in exchange for an honest review. There are some content warnings, death, mentions of violence, mentions of murder, mentions of sexual assault, mentions of necrophilia, sexual content, and drug use are all present in this novel. Please, as always, educate yourself on the content warnings for this book before reading as I may have missed some here. Overall, I rated Daughter 5 out of 5 stars. The characters, writing, setting, plot, and memorability were all 5 out of 5 stars. Daughter is the chilling story of a teen thrown into a world of pain and depravity upon the discovery that her previously unknown father is actually an infamous serial killer. Thrilling at every turn, McLaughlin's upcoming novel boasts a disturbing parallel to our world's most notorious killers, told through the eyes of a brave teen willing to do whatever it takes to bring any possible ounce of closure to the families of her father's victims. Daughter will be published by Wednesday Books on March 8th, 2022. It is not a part of a series and 336 pages long. Daughter is an adult or young adult contemporary family mystery psychological thriller. The book's description from Goodreads as always. Scarlett's life is pretty average. Overly protective mom, great friends, cute boy she's interested in, and a father she's never known until she does. When the FBI show up at Scarlett's store, she is shocked to learn her father is infamous serial killer Jeffrey Robert Lake, and now he's dying and will only give the names and locations of his remaining victims to one person, the daughter he hasn't seen since she was a baby. Scarlett's mother has tried to protect her from Lake's horrifying legacy, but there is no way they can escape the media firestorm that erupts when they come out of hiding or the people who blame Scarlett for her father's choices. When trying to do the right thing puts her life in danger, Scarlett is faced with a choice, go back into hiding or make the world see her as more than a monster's daughter. Kate McLaughlin's da Daughter is a novel about trying to write deadly choices that were never yours to begin with. Most of the characters in this novel are relatable and easy to connect to. Well, except for one, and don't worry, I'll get into that later. Scarlett Murphy is a 17-year-old living with her overprotective and paranoid mom, Gina. Scarlett is your typical teenage girl, obsessed over a popular boy, insecure, partying, etc. However, all that normalcy is whisked away when she discovers that her father she's never met is dying, and he just so happens to be the most infamous serial killer of the 21st century. Scarlett's determination to do the right thing, even at the expense of herself, is astounding and commendable. Despite having gone 17 years without living in her father's shadow, she's willing to come face to face with a killer to potentially help the victim's families. Scarlett takes on a burden that is not hers to bear. She didn't murder anyone, her dad did. But Scarlett is faced with people who believe her mom helped carry out her dad's murders and the desire to help those her dad harmed becomes even stronger. Though she's just a normal teen, she adapts to the traumatic situations she must endure in order to help others. The evolution of Scarlet over the novel is fascinating and really lets one get inside the head of someone overshadowed by a malicious and evil legacy. Gina Murphy at first appears to be your run-of-the-mill helicopter parent who's, who's a little too worried about their kid being kidnapped while at a sleepover. But what starts as seemingly overboard quickly becomes reasonable as the real Gina comes to life before Scarlett's eyes. The reappearance of her ex-husband in her life causes Gina to stop hiding her true self, a normal, headstrong, but broken woman. 
Gina was unaware of the true nature of her husband until his trial, and ever since then, she has been living alone with Scarlett in order to protect her from those who have no idea of the tragedies that she suffered. Other fantastic characters include Agent Logan, an old acquaintance of Gina's who, helps her through, who helped her through the original trial, Lucas and Darcy, Logan's children, and Maxine, Scarlett's cousin. Scarlett has gone 17 years without a family besides her mom. When hiding is no longer an option, she's introduced to a world Gina left far behind, a world in which Scarlett is not alone. All of these characters support Gina and are amazing people. I have to mention how adorable Darcy and Maxine's relationship ends up being, and how could I forget Lucas and Scarlett? The way that Scarlett reconnects with her family is truly incredible, and it makes for a wholesome and sweet scene in a gruesome novel. So I really enjoyed Scarlett being able to get back in touch with her family that she's never met. Now, to get to the man who has caused all the pain, torture, and trauma within Daughter's Pages, Jeff Lake, a serial killer, rapist, and necrophiliac. He's the Ted Bundy of the 90s and early 2000s, known for his charm and good looks, which he used to lure his victims. Paralleling Ted Bundy's M.O. and details of many other real and infamous killers, Jeff Blake is a horrible, evil, and downright appalling character. So, Kate McLaughlin did an excellent job at conveying the evil it takes to kill and created a sickening character that I hate with everything in me. Frustrating and crude, the challenges that Jeff presented to Scarlett upset and angered me. McLaughlin does a phenomenal job of getting you to feel like this book is real. It is so entirely close to, to reality that I'm surprised it isn't. The characters, deaths, everything was so realistic and worldly that I felt a bond with Scarlett, Gina, and everyone else victimized by Jeff Lake. His victims felt real because in our world, there are so many who suffered and continue to suffer equally or more gruesome fates. This novel is truly unparalleled. Interested in starting a podcast? I bet you haven't heard of Anchor, an app and site that makes it super easy to create your own. Not only is it free, but Anchor also allows you to make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor distributes your podcast for you to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more platforms. Anchor has creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone and computer. It's everything you need all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started today. As I mentioned with the characters, McLaughlin is absolutely stunning in their ability to convey, to convey emotion and reality through words on paper. The effect Daughter had on me was unexplainable and impacted me in a way no other novel has before. The reality of the cruelty of this world is perfectly and digestibly packaged in 336 pages. Ominous, dark, and gritty, the atmosphere and feel to Daughter is unmistakable and that of trying to navigate wickedness. The book takes place during modern times and in various places as Scarlett and Gina are often traveling back and forth to LA, I think is how you pronounce it, in order to see Jeff Lake. I read this book in a day, which is usually an impossible feat for me, but Daughter was just too good and too fast-paced to put down. The book starts off with the haunting story of the initial discovery of Jeff Lake's horrendous crimes. From there, the novel spirals into a tale of family, hope, and cruelty. Scarlett is a normal teenager who wants nothing more than for the popular hot guy to like her back. She parties with her friends, gets drunk, and smokes. She's worried about the typical teenage experience, which all seems vain in the face of a new obstacle in her life. She's always assumed her dad ran away when she was a baby, but her mom has never told her anything about them, about him. At 17, she finds out that her dad is dying and his name is Jeff Lake. He's a serial killer with approximately 50 plus victims. 
only having found 14 women and girls buried at his family vacation home in the early 2000s, the FBI is hopeful that his looming death in 2022, question mark, I'm not sure. I, I know there was a mention of 2020 uh, as in current times, so approximately 2022, will help loosen his lips and give away the names of other care victims and their locations. However, Jeff demands that he be able to see his daughter and only then will he consider giving up names and locations because he's an asshole. Um, Scarlett bravely decides to face her father and try to pry what little power he clings to from his cold and cancerous hands before he can take more secrets to the grave. Because that's right, everyone. He got cancer because he's an asshole. Um, those 50 plus women deserve justice and so do their families. And Scarlett is willing to do whatever it takes to prove she is more than just a killer's daughter. Daughter is an astounding and unique novel that offers an experience like no other. I truly cannot think of another book that has truly touched my heart in such a profound way. McLaughlin is a true master of their craft, and I am undeniably enthusiastic to read more of their works. And that is the end of my review of Daughter by Kate McLaughlin. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please check out my blog at mygreviews.wordpress.com. You can also find me at mythebookworm on Twitter, Goodreads, BookBub, and Book Sirens. I'm also on Tumblr at Maya Reviews. If you want me to review your book or want to come on the podcast to discuss a novel, maybe even just reach out to me, you can email me at mayagbookreviews at gmail.com. I do ask that if you are reaching out in regards to a review request, interview, collab, blog tour, or anything publicity related, that you check out my publicity request page on my blog first and then email me. Thank you so much for listening and happy reading!